Hey guys, it is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet, and yes, I'm sure you're quite familiar with this location. This is Woody Enchantment in the Heron River, and really, this particular session is not about catching bass. I'm kind of deviating from that just for a minute because I wanted to say a few things, guys. This is actually going to go out to not only my viewers and people that are playing Fishing Planet, but I'm hoping that maybe the word will get to the Fishing Planet developers as well. Well, there's a few issues that I have with the licensing for this particular game, and while I'm talking about this, I'm going to do some fishing over here, just because I kind of have to now, guys. It, here's the situation. I was in California trying to make a little cash so that I could you know purchase a few things whatnot and trying to get my levels up looks like I already had a bite there and I basically only had like a three day license that I had purchased now the only problem with that is I had to leave Fishing Planet for a little while and I think a lot of people get confused. I know I kind of do, but the way the game's set up. And that is, when I leave a game, if I quit out of this game, like if I'm doing this right now, and I come back, to me it's like time has stood still, okay? But the licensing for the game works in real time. In other words, if three days have passed, in real life three days have passed in the game and the problem with that is it doesn't tell you that you pop into this game just like I am right now and I just start fishing unawares and I happen to hook into a fish and when I pull that fish in it says this fish is restricted you cannot catch this fish and then I get walloped with a fine. Not only for that fish, but also if I happen to have had any fish in my keep net, I get fined for them as well. Now, I have been... I have heard of people having this happen. I've had, well, my, my best friend Delacaba, Kachi, he got walloped... Oh quite a few times. I think I got a buy here. Um, yeah, he was in Michigan, and he he really got hit hard. even A lot harder than I did. And it got so bad for him that he had to go back to Missouri. But he's not the only one I've heard them mention this problem. I have also heard from many of my viewers. It's like, I, I was playing in California or Michigan or whatnot, and I left the game and I came back, and now I'm $4,000 in the hole. What am I supposed to do? What can I do? And I'm like, I wish I had an answer for you, dude. Complain to the developers. Well, this, was, this has been going on for months, guys. I'm not saying that they should get rid of the licensing. What I'm trying to say is I think they need to handle it a little bit better. I mean, personally, if your licenses have expired and you just come into the game, I don't see where it would be that hard to program it in such a way that before you even pull the map up, it says, oh, by the way, warning, warning, Danger World Robinson, something. Your licenses have expired. Please go to the store and restore your licenses it doesn't do that <laughs> and it got me I had avoided it for quite some time I was smart enough in the beginning to remember as I would quit a game to completely quit the game at least so I thought but people are people and you get things going on in your life and things are happening and you forget okay let's see here I think I got me a fish here I'm not really paying attention as well as I should be 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my float fishing rod here just because it's a little simpler to do this and talk. Take it about 50 inches here. And toss her right there. Definitely got to take a direct... What in the heck? Come on, man. Don't be doing this to me now. All right. I'll toss it out there a little further and maybe they'll... Okay, this, real, this is another glitch that kind of aggravates me. I mean, I'm casting there and it flings it off to the side. That makes no sense. Especially when I'm right on the mark. Okay, I want it right up here in front of the stick because I don't want snags. There we go. That's good. Uh, well, I'm going to get a bite right off the bat, it looks like. Anyway, guys, the situation is there needs to be some kind of a warning system. I don't care how it's implemented, but it needs to let you know that you need to go get your license renewed. Something. I mean, the way it works now, oh, this is a big fish. It's just, the only way I can put it is not fair. I can definitely get the drag up on this. Because, I mean, we've got seasoned players that are literally having to go back to Missouri. And, well, <laughs> like myself, I came here to Naharan because I didn't lose quite enough. But I don't have enough to go to Florida or California now. I have to keep grinding away the fish that are here and here it's pretty much the big money winners are going to be obviously the bass the red-eared sunfish if I can get trophies and flatheads so and the occasional trophy like that one but Still, I want to get to Michigan, guys. I mean, <laughs> not Michigan, Alberta. I haven't got to Alberta. I mean, the only Alberta time I spent was when that was Christmas time. And I can't get there because I don't have enough cash. It's expensive. I think it's like $1,200 to spend one day there or some nonsense. And... Anyway, they need to do something to fix that. Another thing they need to fix, and this is something my, my friend also mentioned, was aspects of the durability. I mean, I'm just sitting here fishing, and just in a, a short time, uh, my reel has gone down about 6% in durability. Now, and my rod's even gone down more than that. I'm sorry, guys, but and this is to the devs. I've had poles that I've had for 20, 30 years, and they still work perfectly fine. I've never, I'll be honest, I've never had one break. I've broken a rod, but I broke a rod on a really large catfish, and all I broke was the tip of it. And the funny thing is, I was able to file it off and still continue using it. So, I don't think that's very realistic, guys. According to Delacaba, he's had the same thing. I mean, he's fished all kinds of fish. He doesn't have 20, 30-year-old uh, equipment, and it's not broken. It still works perfectly fine. As long as you keep it oiled and, you know, change your your um, line on a regular basis, you shouldn't have any issues. Well, I'm going to be sitting here grinding away bass for a while, and then as soon as it gets... A little closer to to noon, I'll fast forward it to about three or four and and <laughs> go to red ear, and then from there go to flatheads. But anyway, guys, it may be a little bit before I can get to Florida to do another episode of bass angling. So I might go ahead and do go back and do some catfish ones because until I can get the money, I can't go forward. Well, anyway, guys. 
I'm done ranting, so please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and uh, don't give up on these guys. I mean, they have done a lot of work. They have tried, but I think they may have dropped the ball on this a little bit. They need to work on it. So, I think if we say enough things, maybe they'll get it, get it going, and we'll be good. Anyway, guys, I will see you later. Bye-bye.